Hi friends, today I would like to share with you something that excites me so much. <laughs> it's something that I think uh, we were really missing from previous versions of Mid Journey. And it is the fact that in Mid Journey version 4, if you use seed or same seed, you can get identical images. The same seed produces the identical image. And in previous versions, you could also use seed, but the result was similar, but never identical. And if you make comic books or graphic novels, it's so important to keep a consistent character or to add emotions. So I would like to show you how to do it. So in mid journey, first of all, make sure you selected version four. And for that, you can just type um, uh, settings and press enter and make sure over here you selected version 4. I also like selecting remix mode but you don't have to it's just I think it's a very cool thing to have so make sure your version 4 is selected and then um, you can create a character and remember in terms of seeds every space every single character matters so it has to be exactly same prompt. I already played a little bit and this is the uh, prompt I made. A blonde five-year-old girl with blue eyes wearing a, a red shirt and I just I just chose seed 25. If you are creating a character from scratch and you're describing this character you can select any seed and here is the uh, numbers from zero to this number if you don't specify a seed, Midjourney will um, randomly assign a seed. And I will show you something about it a little bit later. But say you are creating it from scratch and you can choose any seed that you like. And now if we would copy this and just write imagine and just paste exactly the same we would see, or I'll make sure I'm in a fast mode because this is a tutorial. I'll just do it again really quickly. You can do it several times to check, but it's going to be exactly the same selection of images, which is absolutely incredible and something that I feel previous versions really, really missed. So as you can already see, they are just uh, they're just the same. So when you make a character, you can say a, a, like describe your character as good as you can. I suggest always mention what kind of clothes your character is wearing because if you don't, clothes will be changing from frame to frame. Sometimes it's good to add age. It's good to add ethnicity. I didn't add ethnicity, but I did add blue eyes. And um, yes, you see, it's exactly same selection. So now if we would just um, copy this exact prompt, and say we would want to add motion. What I found is the best thing to do it is to add the motion really at the beginning, like a smiling uh, blonde five-year-old girl. Sometimes it's probably grammatically doesn't sound so good, but the sooner you mention your emotion, the better it is. Sometimes you, if the prompt is short, you can get away with putting it at the very end. But I find uh, putting it at the beginning, it actually works the best. And then you will see that this will be over here, the same character as this one. Yeah, look, it's, it's her just smiling. I find it absolutely incredible. And if I, if I copy this, make sure you don't add any spaces or anything because if you do it will be a completely different prompt and it will be changing like a laughing blonde five-year-old girl 
Um, of course, sometimes uh, with some emotions it works better than with the other. I found that with smiling, with like looking up, surprised, it works the best. Um, I did try crying. Um, I wasn't really happy with the result, but you can experiment. It's like, I guess when people cry, they look a little bit different. Like you can add laughing and you can just check that it, it again, it will look exactly the same. And you don't have to use exact same, uh, same seed. If you will use a different seed, you will have a different selection of um, characters. Uh, but let's try maybe replacing laughing with surprised. And here we go. Look how amazing it is her. Even her outfit looks very similar. Yeah, and this corner. This is so great for like comic books and something uh, like this. Yeah. Um, also, a good idea that um, someone suggested to me, when you create a character, if you don't want your character to look straight into the camera, you can say a profile of, and then maybe add exactly same prompt. The thing is, th this will change it much more. I honestly don't know why, but I think it's quite hard for it to like figure out everything, how someone looks from, from the side. So I find if you make a comic book and you want a profile of a, like a, a profile from the beginning, start making your character from that angle to start with. Like here she's surprised, here she's laughing, and here she's like this. Yeah, I mean, she does look alike. I find that it changed hair a little bit from this angle. I think her hair in here are a little bit longer. So if I would create a character and I would know that I need a profile, I would start from a profile of a like, five-year-old girl with blue eyes and then kind of modify it. So let me show you one more thing. Say you are creating a character and let's make maybe a boy, um, maybe 10-year-old um, boy with green eyes and brown hat and wearing a blue shirt. Let's say we created a character like this and we forgot to put a seed and maybe some, something we created, we really, really like this character and we would like to know which seed Mid Journey assigned to it. So let's just wait for a second and see um, which one. So you can always know a seed of an image if you go right here, it says, um, I think you go here, add reaction, and here you just type envelope, and you will see this envelope. So let's do it again. Envelope, and you can press this, and what will happen, it will send to you Midjourney bot. So if you were in any other folder, uh, go back to your Midjourney bot folder, it will send you which seed it is. So now if you copy this, and oh, I think it's best to copy this first because it has to be exactly the same um, prompt. And then you can write seed. And then after this, you copy this and you just press enter, what will happen is that you will have exact same selection. And let's do another test. Let's just upscale one of those images, like this one. Say I like this one the most. 
the hat is not brown, but <laughs> well, it kind of added brown things randomly everywhere. But I, I really like, I like that the eyes are green and I think it looks really great. So yeah, as you can see over here, we do have exactly the same selection of images. So you use this seed and you just put it here and you got this exact selection of images. But let's say we are upscaling and it just takes a, a little bit of time. Uh, let's see what happens if we request the seed for this one image. Because if I do that, it will take some time uh, to upscale first and send it to me. But I think it's worth the wait. Um, because it's very good at generating like four at a time and they are all identical. But um, let's see what happens if it's just one at a time. Yeah, here it is. Here is our upscaled image. And if we send it, let's try to send it again because I think something didn't work. All right, here it goes. So here is the seed. So if we try to do this again, you will see that this seed is different from this seed. So when there are four images, you get a seed like this. When you get um, one image and you return the seed, the seed has changed. So in that case, um, when you kind of get, try to use the same prompt with the seed of just one image, you will get kind of similar images, but they will not be exactly the same. So, I mean, this one looks similar, but the eyes are blue. And all the rest, the eyes are green, but they kind of look differently. So, I would recommend you always, if you kind of need um, exactly the same image or like uh, different uh, expressions of the character, always use four of them like always have the seed for four of them and then generate a bunch of emotions and then you will have all the emotions in your like one of the corners that you like and then what you can do you can upscale them all and you can either photo bash them or use them as reference images or whatever you like if you are making a comic book so hopefully this is helpful it makes me so excited to add emotions to all of my characters now and to make my comic books a little bit more engaging not as robotic as they used to be because I couldn't really add emotions to my consistent characters so anyway enjoy have fun and I will talk to you soon